Hello everyone and welcome to Expressions presented by NASCOM, a show wherein we bring different aspects of technology, leadership, innovation and more. And joining me today for yet another conversation on our series, the evolution of GCCs in the past, present and the future is Norbert Hanke, Executive Vice President at Hexagon. Norbert in his present role leads this strategy for research and development centers across different locations in Hexagon. Norbert, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot, appreciate it. Norbert, to begin with, let me ask you, in your view, how can the GCCs help with the global and local market expansion for the parent organization? Hmm. Very good question. From my side, I think, particularly here what I have seen over the last decades, because we are presently more than 30 years here, it helped tremendously our global business to expand, because we have the know-how, the capabilities in particular, um, we have brought together. So I think you as a country have a track record as well, let's agree, otherwise not so many uh, companies would be here. We are one of them and we are very honored to be here in Hyderabad in particular. Having said that, I think we are getting to a new phase as well. Yes, there was a period of time where it was all about, say, developing code and other things, honestly speaking. But I think now we have to think a little bit broader from my point of view. We need to look at solutions. And I think that needs a, a bit, bit a different perspective from my point of view, where we need to understand more what is the customer's requirements and developing according to that the products here, here as well in the GCCs and what we have done as well. Plus, we would like then to leverage this not only on a global basis, but as well on the local basis. I think there is a new phase for us, and I talk here about Hexagon as well, where we're saying we would like to do more in India itself. Fantastic. Now, uh, Norbert, as digital engineering is paving the way for the growth, growth of the overall engineering research and development industry, where would you place India amongst the other centers or countries that you have seen? I mean, we as Hexagon have a very strong, say, footprint here, for sure. We have it in other countries as well. But I think what is very unique is the talents we are getting as well. For sure as well has something to do with quantity as well, will not shy away from my end. And to a certain extent, yeah, I mean all our other R&D centers are either in uh, US more or in Europe and particularly with Europe the connection works very well from a time zone perspective as well. Also sure we are all virtual but sometimes it is good to, to meet each other and it's a bit easier than as well. So I think for us India is a very important foothold into our further development. Okay. Now, you did briefly touch upon the talent part, so let me just come to that. Now, India contributes to about 27% of the STEM talent in, in the APAC region. Now, when you look at the talent demographics of India, what are your view on the talent that you see in India and, and your plans to then grow organically in India according to that talent? Mm. I think it's an amazing amount of people <laughs> and students and, and so on. So that's a great resource uh, on different things, on architecture-wise, on, on other things uh, from my point of view. But I think more importantly is to think about develop products in the sense, okay, we need product ownership and, and, and. And to a certain extent, I think quantity is good. Quality or the combination of quantity and quality is very important. And I think here what I have seen and have heard there's a, st a strong focus on these kind of things as well. I think for us it's a natural thing that we look for new technology immediately here in, in India because there seems to be a very, let's call it for a better word, hunger to go for new technology in the sense and that we want to leverage honestly speaking a lot. But uh, as I said quality is very important going forward. Right. Now, you also briefly uh, spoke about the customer experience. 
and obviously today customer experience is very dynamic and obviously is very important also for a success of a business mm. now when you look at the hexagon capability center in india yeah. uh, how would the, what are your views on how has it contributed with the changing customer experiences mm. i mean here it's a bit more from a hexagon point of view because hexagon has been in the past built by divisions honestly speaking and what we are now looking in, in particular, what we see here at HCCI now, where we have all different divisions with their technology set up already there, that we are now combining assets, technology assets I call it, and looking into the workflow of different industries, but using different technology assets of different divisions. So for us, the center here in HCCI is very important because it brings things nicely together and where we can line up from the workflow of an industry very nice as well. And I've seen a lot of demos just in the last days uh, in that sense. So I think that's very, from a hexagon point of view, very, very interesting. And that's where we want to go from a strategic point. Fantastic. That's, that's good news for, <laughs> for India in that sense. Yeah. Now, uh, a lot of the R&D work, or research and development work is happening from India. Yeah. Now, on a personal note, uh, to drive leadership, or how important for you is leadership when you look at teams which are driving innovation and research or development based out of India. Mm. So what are your thoughts on that? I mean, let's start with, say, the basics in the sense you have normally individual contributor, right? And everyone is good as much as it is. But at the end, if I can compare this to sports, you need a coach, right? You need to know where is with that kind of skill set where is the best position for the person yeah. out of that you hopefully can create a, a work group and then the word team it's a big word that people know exactly the individual contributor what the other person will do so it's not only that the every time goes via the leader so it's an in say between the different people in interaction taking lead uh, taking care that is leadership particularly on the development of an organization and people, I think. Plus, for my end, if we have leaders, we can bring things together like a team, plus have vision concerning technology, then it's, it's absolutely the strongest point. And we do have this here, uh, particularly, and I'm very pleased about that. And so, therefore, HCCI plays such a big role for us in Hexagon. Uh, and, and probably <coughs> my last question before we let you go, uh, how do you think India as a country uh, can contribute and also the Hexagon Capability Center in India can contribute to the strategic le leadership and growth of overall Hexagon as an entity when you look at it? Yeah, I mean it has already in the past been the case uh, that it was contributing a lot. I <coughs> believe we can do more <laughs> as usual <coughs> for my end because I think um, it's it's a great path we have done and as well um, my well, one of my tasks is as well to connect the leadership which is here in India more on a worldwide basis as well so that we really play as a team inside Hexagon as well so that we are not isolated now let me talk a little bit the virtual meetings did help a little bit to connect further and but we are all human beings so we need some human interaction as well yes. and I hope that things are getting better and that we can meet then as well I think then we set or have set a good growth path for going forward as well for the Indian leadership doing a, and doing a not a even more important say uh, task for hexagon on a worldwide basis Sure. Uh, thank you, Norbert, for joining us today for this short interview. Uh, I hope you have a pleasant stay in India. And again, thank you for joining us. Uh, pleasure having you here. Thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Uh, for more such news, for more such insights, for more such information, please join us, subscribe to our channel. Uh, before we end the show, I would also like to thank our partners, My Startup TV, who are helping us with the show. Thank you once again.